Hello once more to um, the Beastman campaign. I'm Ash and Ninja, and you should subscribe to my channel because you know I always forget to say it till the very, very end, so I've got to say it sometime. Uh, picking things up where we left off, we've just blown up Langual and killed an old man known as uh, Luan Leonco. He, well, I think he was on his. Uh, uh, in, his, in his wheelchair at the time, that's right. Uh, we've had a commander of the herd decide to challenge us, but we beat him apparently. So we'll remove his horns so that we can get extra leadership. We've already got a beast herd, bray herd, whatever they want to call it. Um, and I really don't want it anyway, so. Uh, let's see. Campaign movement. Tired. That'll be three turns. You know what, we're going to take that one. Just because at the moment we do need to have some replenishment and rearm time. So we're going to move up here just so that we can see what's going on. And you move up as well, Mr. Malagor. And we'll get you recruiting a new Minotaur unit. So that's what you lost. Yeah, so we'll need a couple of turns for that. Uh, let's see, because I've been thinking I'm going to get another Beast Lord as well. But I only want one that's going to have the trait that I want. And so far it's not happening, so... Just disband him again. Let's see what we get next time round. I don't think I can get any Bray Shamans or anything like that. No. Um, I can build something. How much more? 142. 149,000. No, 2,000. 142,000. I can read. I swear. I learned like three days ago. So he's still got yeah 17 population surplus. So I might give him those just for the extra armor and melee attack for if he ends up having units. And we'll just move along. Ooh, I hate that bray herd. Such pain in the ass. Those things. Yeah, there are beastmen just there, so maybe they'll be willing to um, confederate with me. Might have to have a discussion with them. And if my war herds was revealed, that's disappointing. Yeah, I'll take that. Shandui Land Reaper, eh? That's a pretty rubbish name, actually. Got a lot of Minotaurs, got a Saigor. Ripper Horn Tribe. No, not even slightly interested in it. That's fine. Not really interested in uh, having that kind of party with them anyway. He says. Just, just, I'll just soak now. Just realise that's not going to work very well at all. Sugu, you have a point for us to spend. Chuck that into Bray Scream, I guess. Malagor's uh, stance is unchanged, thankfully. With Nurgle's stinking feet. Nurgle's cheese feet, as I should call them. Delicious, delicious Nurgle cheese feet. The Castle Artois is going to be ours. Just a matter of uh, getting there. 
can't believe how much I'm yawning today as well. Just crazy. Beastmen are still a very, they're a very weak faction, but I do like them all the same. Oh, grave news, apparently. I don't know why that's grave news if you're um, Beastmen. It's like, oh no, Chaos Forces are coming. Oh wait, I am a Chaos Force. Prepare my defense as well. You re they really should have had a, a different one, you know, based on who you are. No, oh, they're just like Norse guys, a different one. Alright. How are we doing here? We've got one more turn of that. Now, we've now, now back up to full Minotaur. Except for... Where is he? Uh, Ak. Ak is still wounded. He's got one more turn. So he'll be available next turn. That's good. Let's get him over here. And we'll... What? Yeah, so apparently because that guy can see us, he isn't hostile towards us anyway. We can't, we couldn't go into a hidden stance. Seems a bit dumb, but whatever. Uh, no, 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 good shot still. Not happy. Okay, he can't. Oh, he's only got three. Oh, did he spend all his? Jeez. Right. Next turn, we get our get Ak back. So back up to three three gore bulls, and then we can go and smash down Artois. Oh, excuse me. Oh damn. I've literally only just finished my coffee. Oh, I'm definitely more asleep than awake. What's going on? Oh well. Uh, the undead seem to be enjoying themselves. Oh, it's only a little garrison too. This will be easy. Alright, Confederation, them and Carcassonne. First things first, Ack. Climb back into that army. It's bad when they're wounded, they actually cost more upkeep. Just because we actually reduce their upkeep from him since he's in the war herd. So, oh well. Malagor, my friend. We have a castle to burn. What's that, Goros? You wanna come too? Well, alright. I guess you can. And we'll fight. Because no matter what with the basement, order is always bad for you. Oh, it's Leon again. He's back. It's he's back from the dead. Hasn't been five turns since we killed him though. Which is always a pain in the ass. So clearly the uh, AI doesn't have to wait five turns. We do though. Now, I'm thinking of going in through here and actually just smashing my way through a wall this time. Just for something different. And because we had this exact map last time. Alright. So we'll need somebody tanking there. And we'll need... Let's move you two up here, because you don't, two don't have Arcane Conduit, so if you get hurt a bit, that's fine. You five, you do your job the same as you always do. Hopefully don't spaz it up. What else is left over here? Oh, that's right, I've got two Ungor units to come in as well. There we go. 
Turn off that this time, so I forgot last time. There was a bit of clusterfuck going on there. We don't need clusterfuckery. sent him up this way instead of the ones I meant to. Alright, let's speed up the old CG Ouija. And yes, I do regret saying that. Alright, now move all of our Lord, Minotaur, etc. over here. Just in case we still need to bust our way in. Because you just never know in this eight day and age when you're going to have to break out the old dance dance revolution. I thought I ever played dance dance revolution. Not coordinated enough for that kind of thing. as well knock some holes in the walls as well just to add injury to injury oh that that was good of them to all march straight into the spell like that like I like that that kind of thing you know good on them a bit of bravery and all that Why march out of a spell effect when you can march into it like a bloody idiot? Hmm. He's getting his bite shot at now, so we'll get him a bit closer to the wall. Where they can waste some magic on him, apparently. Damage. Uh, let's just move it further over this way. After all, look at this shiny amount of people sitting up here. They certainly look like they'd enjoy having a, themselves sucked into a dark pit of nothingness. We all wanted that on occasionally. The defenders are mostly dead, guys. Not going well for years. Maybe we should go fight Louis again. Oh, well, well, these guys still have a decent amount of strength to them. We'll, we'll fix that. Seeders really are the only place you can use up all of your magic with fair impunity. I do wonder how um, CA uh, are planning on fixing this. To make them harder slash more interesting, etc. For a Warhammer 3, they supposedly have some idea. So I guess we just uh, wait and see what 
madness they managed to come up with. It just means you sort of find a new way to cheese it all. It probably won't be that hard, really. There's always YouTubers out there willing to find ways around. Okay, let's do some damage to these guys once more, and then we're going to send the killing crew in after Lou and Leon call. Uh, yeah, we'll send him in too. He's probably pretty rubbish in melee. Actually, no, we won't send him in. Let's not endanger our uh, legendary lord. Damsel of Heavens will have some kind of magic effect, which didn't work out. And she's broken just by being nearby. So there you go. Oh yes. Giant Minotaurs smash at a little man on a horse. Oh, and a Minotaur goes down. Lucky that was just one out of, out of a out of the team rather than like my Gorbel. Oh, Gorbel, big swing. And he's broken. Yes, yeah, that's right. Lonely Onkov runs from the giant Minotaurs. And there, Heaven's Damsel is shattered. She can't believe it. And Louis comes back to the fray. Oh, with with Grail Knights as a uh, as a backup. I'll avail him little though. Uh, big shield bash from the Minotaur there, but they're probably going to go down. Oh yes, he's got he's down hard. But so many of these others have been wounded already. Already they fall and and they flee. Goodbye, Grail Knights. Will Leon Leonco get a chance to flee as well? But he's out of here, and a paladin has come to take his place. But still, that paladin is no match for the horde of bulls. Multiple slappings from Rob Giant Bull's penis will do that to you. And you'll flee in terror. And that's Castle Artois. Castle Artois down. Ah, oh, they break so easily these days. Once more, Luan Leonkor falls to the might, might of the Beastmen, where he'll and he'll suddenly get resurrected really quickly again. I'm sure. Another thirty thousand, and Malagor goes for a really long run away from the exploding city. Of course, straight into attrition land. That's a uh, that's a thing. Very annoying thing, to say the least. Gora's heart render has made it up level, so make young Gora's a bit better that he's got hanging around him. Ah, uh, Malagor, Malagor. Give you savage dominion, so you can summon a Saigor if I decide I need you to. Ah, uh, Ungrow Beast Eye. Give you that. Uh, more scouting for Korok and Pwib. You get Arcane Conduit, you just made yourself useful finally. Uh, Fbugrhog, Soul Rend. 
Um, sounds like I'm choking on something there. That's awful. Let's actually let's have a look how much. Oh, I can't look how much it costs to recruit things because he's fucking run off five miles from the uh, little place that he blew up. Fucking ridiculous. Uh, a quick look at the lords to see that we do not have any good options. So we're going to the next turn. May as well. So we've had a good start against the, the Bretonians. Oh, excuse me. We killed um Archie's face twice, Lord the Encore twice. And our beastmen do seem to cruise through stuff, yes, we'll just retreat from that. Bloody ridiculous. Probably means they'll retake Castle Artois. At some stage. Uh, answering the call, eh? Plus or minus five health, horde growth. Yeah, that's fine. I don't know what it is he said, but. Yeah, you can raid. Just to see if he'll ch try and chase us down again. Uh, still nothing worthwhile there. 875, okay. And it will cost you... Nothing. Okay, so his units are actually free now. Free to hire. Free to good home. Do I have anything else going? To? No, apparently they just they're just free. Cost me nothing to buy them. Good stuff. So whatever happens, if I buy units, we chuck them into Malagor's army. Well, we hire them in Malagor's army and move them around if as needed. Good to know. Good to know. Uh, Brayherd made itself useful for what? Got rid of that big uh, Bretonian army. Though I was kind of hoping it would attack me. But oh well, that's fine. We'll just go find out next exploited um, Bretonian city and blow the crap out of it. So Malagor can get his exercise running away from the explosion again. Ah, it's so scary. It hurt my ears. Uh, let's move up. Something about a guitar? Maybe going into Quetta. It's a very rich country, that one. Uh, let's see, let's see, specialist, uh, yeah. uh, reduce recruitment costs even more, cause, I don't know, why not? I mean, they're already at zero, but, you know, start paying me to recruit things. It's like paying me to do what I'm doing now. It'd be fantastic. Sexual harassment. Panda! Maybe what I should do is I should expand the amount of Minotaurs that are in Malagor's army. Dump a couple of those uh, oh, the remaining Ungors into Goros' army. And my uh, goon squad of pain grows. Yeah, 
could be an excellent idea. Uh, you what? Oh, you're attacking him. No, that's not help. That's fine. He didn't really want to. Didn't really want him around at all, anyway. Uh, no, we don't actually want to fight them either. So, you guys, go away. Ah, oh, wounded another one of my gorbals. That makes me sad. Okay, you can kind of cruise up to here. I get to hiding. You'll cruise into the forest over here and get to hiding. And see how the Bretonians respond to that. It's now that our uh, warhead is gone. Normally what would happen is I'll go Burr! I don't know where they all are. And I'll just kind of disperse into the countryside. They'll probably actually hit Castle Artois and turn it back into a thing. That's fine if they do. My plan to move those ungores across seems to have gone awry. There we go, they did retake Castle Artois, that's good. So we can just burn it down nice and cheaply now. Burn it down. Okay, what did we get? Plus five leadership, oh yeah, whatever. Uh, and that's probably because I wanted evasion chance up. Yeah. Go with that. That's why. That's why we wanted it. Mm -hmm. He'd be able to take out that army all by himself anyway, so. Even if they spot him, there's no real problem. Slaughter is cool. No, don't need that. No. Deadly blade, yes. What are you after? Pwib. That. Ridiculous. Uh, magical reserves, that's good. So now that I look at it, what I should do is... Attack Castle Artois. Because they don't have a lot there at the moment. So we get our beastmen going over here. And that is going to be where we end the episode. So, next time, we are going to hit Castle Artois as if it was a broken egg. Which doesn't make any sense at all. But that's fine. We're going to... Well, there you go. He's, here, here we'll go with this, with this instead. We'll hit it, like, hit it like a broken egg. So we'll just beat it, beat it, beat it, till we have an ice omelette. So until then, hope you have a good one. Bye for now.